The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello and welcome back to one of our mini training sessions on Workbook CRM. And in this one, we're going to cover how to optimize sales management and team or user performance, your, your user's performance with target tracking in workbooks. So hello, my name is Tim Wilmot, joined today by my colleague Stuart. We'll be handing over Stuart uh, very shortly to take us through the target tracking feature in workbooks. And our company, Wiz Assistance, we're, we're a leading independent CRM solutions provider of systems like workbooks. And we, we help our organizations use simple, affordable solutions to help improve their sales, marketing, and customer service productivity. So thanks again for joining us on this mini training session, our, our, our series of regular workbooks uh, presentations focusing on different topics in and around workbooks. Not meant to be in-depth training, but just really touching the surface and just to enlighten you to the extensive capabilities of workbooks. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please pop those into the question box on your meeting control panel, and we'll do our best to answer that towards the end. We'll be done in about 10 minutes, quarter of an hour or so in duration on this one. Quick mention about Wizard then. All we do is CRM. We've been doing a long, long time, and we provide a complete service around workbooks. So if you're new to us and you're considering um, workbooks or you've got workbooks already, want to get more out of it, then please start a dialogue with us and we can advise you on what level of service you would like. And we have lots of implementation and installation services, extensive training options, any kind of level of training you want. And that training can be your place, our place online, and all the ongoing help desk support as well. So let me hand over to um, my colleague, Stuart, now. And while Stuart's getting ready, I'll just really go through the top level benefits of why you would want to track your targets in CRM. Well, I guess the first thing is that it's going gonna, it's gonna to obviously provide visibility into uh, users' sales performance and progress towards their, their target or quota. And having, having targets tracked in CRM gives managers, if you're a manager, gives you insight into each salesperson, how they're doing, uh, any any one point in time in as regards to their expected quotas or objectives. So that that does enable better coaching and support of your salespeople. Next it's going to enable data driven compensation incentives and decisions. So many companies tie sales commission, bonuses, whatever you call it, to performance against their sales targets and tracking targets in in workbook CRM makes that a lot easier in calculating um, these various uh, compensation plans. So, so get to track it in workbooks and you can then, of course, with the reporting capabilities in workbooks, you can report on it. And we do have a few clients who are actually calculating people's commission payments um, through workbooks, through a report. It's gonna drive accountability and motivation. When sales salespeople if you think about it, when salespeople know their targets are being monitored, they're being looked at um, by, by their peers or their managers, certainly, uh, then they're going to become a little bit more motivated to keep an eye on them and uh, achieve them. It will hopefully, by tracking targets in workbooks, hopefully over time, it's going to improve your forecasting accuracy because you're, you're tracking your targets, you know what your actuals are. Uh, sales forecasts are often based on a sort of bottom-up projection. Um, that is to estimate the total company's sales or performance, um, you know, based on individual sales, and you to total them all up um, to give you that bottom-up approach. So tracking their committed targets helps improve forecast and re reliability and precision going forward. And finally, if you've got territories, do you, do you, when you get a lead, do you assign it to 
a person, team, whatever, uh, based on product or area or type of type of client that is. Well, this can this can facilitate territory planning and optimization. So understanding each salesperson's targets and capacity for deals can help you going forwards optimize the the allocation of those leads and and a sort of equal workload around your team. Anyway, that, that's enough of me. I'll come back when we go through any questions you've got, um, provide some answers to those. So over to you, Stuart. Thank you, Tim. Uh, so on screen, I've gone ahead and made a very simple uh, sales target within Workbox. And what I'll do now is I'll show you how I made this a target. On the front screen, I just have uh, the fields that I'm going to be using in this target. This one is uh, similar to the one that Tim mentioned. The uh, I'm after uh, sort of the total number of sales that someone's done and the, the value that I want them to achieve. And in here, I set up my target values. These are what I'd like my salespeople to achieve. I'm not asking much in this demo system. So I've broken it down for the year. So it's 23, 24, and then it's each quarter and the values that I'm after and the opportunity, the, the one opportunities that I'm after. So there's Alison, Hugh, and Peter, and the system breaks it down because I've told this, I've told it, I want a salesperson, the period, and the quarter. So it does the simple work for me. If you had more to come into this, another salesperson you want to add, you could just add a target value. And again, it just asks to complete this. If I move that to the side so you can see it, it just asks you to follow the same steps. So who's the new salesperson? What's the period name, the year, the short period name, and the quarter. And again, the values that you want them to achieve. If you add lots to add, you can use this multiple value section. I know it makes this easier because you could already have this in a spreadsheet. So rather than import the spreadsheet, what you do is you actually paste in the sec the information from your from the spreadsheet and just it drop it in and it even tells you there that you're going to match those headings. So sales, the full period name, the year, and so on. So you've got all those headings and you have the people down the left, the value that you want them to achieve. And the opportunity total, a very, very simple spreadsheet. And so you just paste those in. So adding one, adding multiple. And what you end up with is this very simple chart laid out. Once you have this, it's it's not doing much. This is the target, but it's not going to show you how to do anything with it. The clever part comes from when you save and close this and go into a report. Now, normally a report on something like sales targets would show you there's all the opportunities, there's the money. It's not telling me how well uh, Peter's doing. It's not telling me how well the other users are doing. The clever part comes from when you take a target value and a report and put the two together. And here, you can see I've brought over some of the columns from that target and here i've told it to use my target set but use my target set within this report and now you'll see at the bottom of the screen very quickly i can see that allison uh, obviously this is my next one this is my next one I'm not doing too well you see for each of those financial years within there it shows me my actual because that's coming from the first part of the report and then the target and the achieved is coming from the second part of the report. So I want them to achieve five. And currently at the moment, as you can see, nobody has achieved any. And as the, the system changes and as the sales come through and the opportunities get saved and won, this will reflect that and live data. And if you change the target in the target set, this will update the report in real time. You don't have to come in and do both. So target sets, change it in the target set if you want someone to achieve 10. That will then change this and reflect it in the report so that you can then keep an eye on this report as you go and know exactly how your salespeople are going. This is a very easy uh, feature to set up. There's a little bit more with 
the reporting, getting the report to appear uh, within a report, but wizard systems, uh, we can help you get that set up. And that really is target sets. Thanks very much, Stuart, for that. Uh, they were quite low sales targets, weren't they? Uh, may not be appropriate for Black Friday. Anyway, uh, so um, we're ready for any questions, those of you on here live. Um, if you've got any questions around this feature or indeed anything sort of related to this feature in workbooks, pop that into your question session on the meeting control panel. So first question from Kevin, uh, can a target be in a range, say 10K to 12K? I think it's a bit unusual, but could it be a range, Stuart? Uh, yes, it can. In Within workbooks, they call that uh, a complex calculated target. So as with a, as with a simple target, and you saw my uh, extremely low values of five and a thousand, you could just as easily put into uh, those uh, those columns when you're setting it up. You could have it so that um, I had a user there called Alison, and you could have it so that um, like an like an if statement, but you would have it when Alison. Uh, hits a value of uh, 10,000, then this, when Alison hits 20,000, then this, obviously you would put it so that uh, sort of two 20,000, then you'd have another one greater than 20,001 to your next cutoff. So you can build these up to make uh, sort of quite, quite complex because uh, uh, as Tim mentioned, this could be related to uh, someone's commission. So you could have it where commission hits a particular threshold, it achieves one number. If they hit up another threshold, it would show another number. So uh, yes, complex calculated targets. Okay, and of course targets could relate to other non-sales things in workbooks as well. Remember, service targets, marketing targets, it could be um, spilling out to other areas of CRM as well. Okay, uh, next question from Justin. So uh, when we get on to reporting or dashboards, can a figure below target be displayed in red. Uh, sorry, yes, yeah, I should have mentioned that. Sorry, yes, you can. Um, once it's in a report, then all the power of workbooks reporting comes into play. Uh, what you would do is you would uh, edit that summarized column that the target is based on, that last target that I had on screen, and it's a cell conditional style that you'd need to look at. And the easiest one to go on would probably be to have your styling based on the values. And then you can set it. You can either go with what they suggest, so red, amber, green, or you can uh, break it down even further uh, to use different uh, variations of the colors that you'd like to use. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's relatively straightforward. We, we have actually covered um, reporting and that color formatting on a number of 101s in the past. Uh, they'll, they'll all be up on our YouTube channel. Uh, previous ones. Um, right, I don't think there's any more questions there, Stuart. So I'd say it's just a uh, really a brief overview of setting targets and really talking about the benefits of tracking targets in your CRM system, uh, making, you know, making sense to that. And if you want any more information on a deeper dive on targets or whatever, then please contact us for any little sort of one-to-one um, -one coaching that you might want, or if you want us to set up for you. Right, uh, well, uh, you, you of course will be getting familiar with the latest release of uh, Workbooks, which is 7.1. Um, if you do need, just to repeat, if you do need, if you feel you need any more instruction on Workbooks to get more out of it, or you've got new people that join the company, you wanna take your knowledge to a new level with Workbooks, then please contact any of us at Workbooks for uh, more information on that and what kind of what format of training would be relevant to you well um thanks very much those of you watching live or if you're watching recording of this thanks very much uh we hope to catch up with you on the next event if you've got any ideas you're a workbooks user you've got any ideas for future topics that you think would be of interest to um your colleagues or other workbooks users then please Drop us a line, email us, call us. We'd be happy to 
include that in our schedule. So thanks very much for watching and we'll catch up with you on the next event. Bye-bye.